Yo, yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for joining up for the video. I'm RJ. We've been looking into the Chiliad mystery from the beginning of Grand Theft Auto V, but there's a second mural located in the heart of Los Santos that is just as mysterious. Just like that Chiliad mural, you can see a maze in the background. It has similar themes, so does that mean that it is representing the same mystery? The more you look into this thing, the more cryptic messages you can find. The fingers point up directly towards the maze bank. Let's see if we can get into a better position. It did start raining. It doesn't matter how many times I put the cheat code in to stop the raining. It's just going to start up again. I don't know what that's about. I'm going to try something in an upcoming live stream. Definitely stay tuned for that. So there you have it. You can see how the fingers are pointing towards the maze bank. It has what looks to be the same V symbol from the Grand Theft Auto V logo and then an I. So what does it all mean? I think it comes down to the message around the sides. That is probably what solves this mural and tells us that it comes down to the great score. This message says, for when the great score comes to write against your name, he marks not that you've won, but how you played the game. Basically telling us that it's not about defeating the Grand Theft Auto V storyline with Trevor, Michael, and Franklin. It's about the decisions that we make during the gameplay. And if you've beaten the game, you've probably seen that there are a ton of decisions to make. There's random characters. You can help out your family. And at the end of the game, you get that score. So we're going to talk about that and hopefully solve this mural, opening up another mystery that needs to be solved. Guys, much love. Make sure to hit the notification button so you don't miss our upcoming Chiliad Mystery live stream. Whoa. And uh, stay tuned. I have another new episode coming out this weekend. Thanks again for being part of the trippy community. We have some big things happening, including a Grand Theft Auto online takeover for both the Xbox One and the PS4. So hit me up on Twitter at TrippyComs if you want to be part of that. With all that said, let's get into the episode, guys. Back in town, baby. Yeah. All systems go. Sun hasn't died. Deep in my bones. If you've played through the final mission in the Doomsday Heist, or you just watched us do it, we've done it a few times live, then you probably noticed these hidden murals, which are found inside of Mount Chiliad. This is Rockstar's way of showing us the biggest mysteries which are hidden within Grand Theft Auto V, and we know that because the green mural basically spells out how to transform into Bigfoot. That is not an easy thing to find out about. So if you've been watching trippy commentaries, you probably know about most of these mysteries. You can see how the yellow section has the Chiliad mural. Well, I believe that the purple section is what's pointing towards the great score. I know there are so many theories when it comes to each one of these murals. But check out how the purple section has symbols from that same mural in Los Santos. You have the eye, the maze, and a lot of things seem to be pointing towards karma, the yin-yang. Here we have a scale which represents balance, the brain, well this is all pointing towards the great score. You can tell how the eye is pretty much the same. I know it's a little bit of a different shape, but it has that black pupil in the middle, and the V is representing the storyline of Grand Theft Auto V, because GTA Online does not have that same five symbol, or the V. It is just the events of Trevor, Michael, and Franklin that this mural is symbolizing, guys. So this is pointing towards the great score, who is it? It of course is also linked with that purple mural. When you finish the game and make your last choice, this is the final score that you get from Dr. Friedlander. And look at some of the reports that he gives you. Sexually repressed, which is a good thing. That doesn't sound like a good thing to me. Kleptomaniac must make sure yoga does not influence their time with me. At least they don't overexercise. So the great score is Friedlander. And I don't necessarily know how to actually get the right score on this report because who knows what he considers to be the right way of living or I guess the right choices that you make throughout Grand Theft Auto V, guys. And if you look at the symbols represented by Dr. Friedlander's logo, those are what appear in the purple mural, all bringing everything together. Here is the Greek symbol for Psy, and then you have the brain on the other side of the me. So coincidentally, they are both on the purple mural, along with other symbols that are reflective of psychology. We know that Dr. Friedlander is a psychologist, so why would they choose him to be the great scorer? He seems like the worst option ever to be judging a Grand Theft Auto protagonist. I don't think that Trevor is going to be cured by a therapist. 
So there's got to be a right way to choose. Like the first choice you have to make with Ortega. You can let him go after you pretty much launch his uh, trailer into a river. Or you can choose to take him out. What is the right option for Trevor? You think it would just be to take him out. Many people have their theory on maybe a different karma route or different ways to play the game. But I believe it's pointed out by this purple mural. You can see how there must be a balance if they're really showing that symbol along with the yin yang. Let's bring up the Dr. Friedlander website. You can see the logo right there on the top. Welcome, Dr. Isaiah Friedlander has been helping individuals, couples, and families fill the void since 1987. He has won awards and has been seen on multiple TV shows. So he's just another actor in Vinewood. Your parents taught you never to talk to strangers. Now you're an isolationist hoarder. Your parents told you not to drink, yet they drank and smoked through your mother's pregnancy and they ignored you when you needed them most. Your parents were wrong. It's time to have a stranger fix everything. So is Dr. Friedlander the guy who can fix Michael? I doubt it. Let's take the Friedlander test. How bad could this be? What the heck? How many words of empowerment can you identify? I found one. It says, prison wife. Prison wife. Running out of time. Wait a minute. Here's one right here. It says, lap dance. Lap dance, another word of empowerment. Prison wife and lap dance? What kind of words are you putting in here, Doc? I'm not sure if mommy, spelled upside down here, is another word of empowerment. I'm guessing because it's Trevor, it probably would be. So did we pass, did we fail? I guess we can't do either way, seeing as we wrote it down on a piece of paper. You have a distorted perception of reality. Why would you play word games when you are in serious mental distress? Dr. Friedlander is a psychotherapist a media personality, they put that second on the list. Secular Buddhist, really, and keen model boat enthusiast. He received a bachelor's degree in marketing from ULSA in 1984 and a doctorate degree in psychology in 86 from a distance learning institution that no longer exists. He has spent a lot of time traveling in Asia. His PhD thesis was entitled Self Dumb Scene overregard in the underworld what i mean we got to pay attention to this if he really is the great scorer we're trying to ace this test i guess we got to live by his standards you have people like dr phil who have gotten so popular and made so much money trying to fix messed up people in hollywood i guess dr friedlander might be the dr phil of gta 5 so let's go to the testimonials that'll let us know once and for all if this guy is legit or he's just another scam Okay, so let's see what Mary from Rockford Hills has to say, although I'm guessing this is all just fake implanted testimonials. Dr. Friedlander has an amazing ability to remain leveled, almost disinterested in the face of extreme emotion. I feel like I'm talking to my father after he would... What? That's terrible. Dr. Friedlander showed me how to switch my dependency on destructive behaviors to a dependency on therapy and medication. I'm much better now, says Joel from Morningwood. Dr. Friedlander taught me that it's okay to be a failure as long as you don't fail to pay the bills. Alice and Vespucci Beach, not so sure about this Friedlander guy. The only thing Dr. Friedlander sugarcoats are the antidepressants. I no longer want to murder, oh man, it's terrible. He's so much happier now that he doesn't wake up next to me hovering over, oh my gosh. I'll put a link in the description to a video where we showed you how to manipulate that final report. You might be surprised by the different categories that Rockstar is keeping track of. But Dr. Friedlander is the great score that is represented in this mystery here in Los Santos's Karma Mural. What's going on? Nothing. It's just... I think you need a new therapist. And I'm leaving town. I've got a TV show. I'm gonna be famous. I'm going to be famous. <laughs> Think of the fucking tail. All those fucking bitches who called me pube head. <laughs> oh, they'll be lining up to suck it now. You got a TV show. You. Uh, best not to think too closely about what I just said. It's not like I'll be using real names or anything. <laughs> I'm really discreet. <laughs> Bye now. Fuck. Don't you want to be famous? Hey, everybody wants to be famous. It's a primal urge. 
At the end of the game, we learned that Freelander was just trying to use Michael the entire time to get his own TV show. And then we're given one more choice on if we want to let him go or eliminate the Doctor. But even if we kill him off and Michael, we still get the same end game report. So we're trying to perfect it. The mural shows us that it's all about balance. You can't make all the wrong decisions and you can't make all the right decisions. You have to keep that balance. But the problem is that we have three different characters and they no doubt have their own karma. So let us know if you have any theories. We're going to try to perfect it in a live stream coming up. So join us for that. But with all that said, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the episode. We have another big one on the way. So stay tuned here at Trippy Commentaries. Hit me up on Twitter. Let me know what Easter eggs you found in Grand Theft Auto 5. And we'll join up for an upcoming GTA Online takeover very soon. Stay tuned here at Trippy Commentaries, my friends. But more importantly, as always, make sure to stay motherfucking trippy, my friends.